Hi, welcome to the second section of the course, Backup and Restore. In this section, we will learn managing repositories, then executing a snapshot. After that, we will restore a snapshot, and finally, we will be re-indexing from a remote cluster. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with managing repositories. In this video, we are going to take a look at creating a repository, then retrieving a repository information, and then deleting the repository. Elasticsearch provides a built-in system to rapidly restore your data, known as Snapshot. It allows for the creation of snapshots of individual indices or an entire cluster into a remote repository. Before starting to execute a snapshot, a repository must be created. This is where the backups snapshots will be stored. You need an up-and-running Elasticsearch installation, and to execute curl via command line, you need to have curl installed for your operating system. First, we need to edit Elasticsearch.yml file and add the directory of your backup repository as shown here. For our examples, we'll be using the TMP directory available in every system. Generally, in a production cluster, this directory should be a shared repository. Now, to manage a repository, first we need to create it. Here we will create a repository called My Repository using this curl command with the HTTP put method. The result should be acknowledged true. Next, to retrieve repository information, the HTTP method is get. The result returned using this curl command will be like this. And now to delete the repository, the HTTP method is delete. And the curl command will be like this. If everything works fine, the result will be acknowledged true. Before taking a snapshot of our data, we must create a repository which is a place where we store our backup data. Now let's see the parameters that we have used to create this repository. First is type, that is used to define the type of shared file system repository. Generally, it is FS. Then, settings are the options to set up the shared file system repository. Here, in the case of FS type usage, the settings include location, which is the location of the file system to store snapshots. And finally, we will see compress that turns on the compression for the snapshot files. Compression is applied to only the metadata files as data files are not compressed. As I have said earlier, the most common type of repository backend is file system. But there are other official repository backends like the S3 repository, HDFS for Hadoop environments, Azure Cloud for Azure Storage Repositories, and Google Cloud for Google Cloud Storage Repositories. In Elasticsearch, when a repository is created, it's immediately verified on all data nodes to be sure that it's functional. Elasticsearch also provides a manual way, and this is the command to manually verify a repository. Oops, as we have deleted the repository, we got an error. So let's create one and try again. Hooray! So, this is the result we were waiting for.